In this video I'm going to show you how to make pictures move. You'll have seen this before in the Harry Potter films and I bet you thought this was special effects perhaps done with green screen or I don't know clever computer trickery. Well it's not because look I'm actually really here. So in today's video I'm going to be using real wizardry to make pictures move. And I'm going to show you how, so before we get to that, click the like button right now, subscribe, ding that bell, become a member, all of that, links down there, and let's get on with it, because it's coming up right after this. Hi, welcome to Real Wizardry, I'm Neil, and I'm going to be your magical host, it's this side down there, and in this video I'm going to be brewing a magical potion. This magical potion will allow you to make portraits and pictures move using real wizardry. So let's just grab all of the stuff that we need and get cracking on showing you how to do this. First thing we need to do is to grab a cauldron and my magical robe. So let's do that. Now the very first thing that we need to do is to take that cauldron, which I've put over here. Ta-da! Um, and we need to brew it up. So I'm going to use a normal cauldron for most of this, but I'm also going to show you with a smart cauldron, and I'll explain what one of those is in a second. Great. Let's start by adding a teeny weeny bit of fire to the equation. Just grab your magic wand and heat up your cauldron using a simple fire spell. Fantastic. Next, you'll need to take a photograph. Old style paper images are fine, and you can just soak them in the finished potion. But for now, we're going to assume that you do have a phone or a digital camera, and you can use that instead. Just take a selfie and be sure to smile and make yourself look gorgeous. Wave if you can. Beautiful. Now if you're using a digital SLR camera, simply take out the SD card or other media storage. If it's a phone, make sure that you do have a smart cauldron like this. What the hell are you looking at? Next thing we're going to need is a digital SLR or single lens reflex camera like this to take the photograph with. I used it to take the photos that you'll find in the Magical Cocktail Cookbook. And by the way, the links are down there if you want to buy that Magical Cocktail Cookbook. But you could always use the one on your phone using a smart cauldron. So you can either email or airdrop that photograph to the cauldron like this. Thank you. The image has been received and has been added to the potion ingredients. Now the smart cauldron will take over and tell you what to do next. Please add some known flavoured salt to the cauldron. Now simply follow the smart cauldron's instructions. Finally chop the fillet of a fenny snake and season with ground unicorn hair. Be sure to make sure that you tell the cauldron when to proceed. A simple next spell will suffice. Simply tap your magic wand on the rim like this and conjure the age-old spell called Get On With It. Remember to pronounce it very clearly. One, two, three, get on with it! All right, all right, keep your hair on. Next up, add some green skittles. Ooh, only green ones. Okay, I've got some of those. The lime flavored ones. I'm gonna need to sort them out. Not the green apple ones you get in America. Ah. Those ones taste disgusting. Okay. Seal it with a baboon's blood. Then the spell is firm and good. That doesn't rhyme. Well, don't blame me. You wrote the script. Right. Um, well. If you know a friend the ogre, ask to borrow a teaspoon. Next, take a little sip. It should taste disgusting. Next, you'll want to find a beaker so that you can empty your cauldron contents into it. I have a flask right here that I only ever use for my mineral water, which is why it says <laughs> Now simply take a piece of photo paper or pre-developed picture if you're going to use a smart cauldron. Next, we need a metal funnel, which I have up here, which is handy. I'm going to uh, pour the contents of the cauldron into my receptacle. Okay, now we pour our decanted liquid into a tray and add the photo paper and just let it develop until the picture starts to gargle. Now just mount your picture in a frame like this and enjoy. You haven't thanked the patrons yet, you idiot. Oh yeah. 
Massive shout out to my members and patrons. You guys are amazing. And if you want to support me like these amazing people on this channel, head on down to the links down in the description and check out my social media. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll be back next time with some more magical awesomeness. Stay magical. No, not yet. Stay magical. Not yet. But until next time, Stay magical. not yet. As always, Stay magical. I'm going to burn you. Oh dear. As always, yes. Stay magical. Stay magical. If you've got a friendly ogre friend, as opposed to an unfriendly ogre friend. Hmm. Fantastic. Fantastic. Next, you'll need to take a photograph. Old style paper images will be fine, and you can just soak them in the... <laughs> I could probably edit that together, couldn't I? <laughs> that cola's foaming like crazy. crazy. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I know. It'll all make sense in the edit, it'll be fine. Wizard pyromania. I'm gonna burn you.